the Louvre is a, is a one-of-a-kind museum. It's one-of-a-kind um, architecture in the world. It's, uh, it's the heart of Paris. It's beautiful everywhere you look, so you cannot really appreciate it if you try to do everything at once. You have to spend hours in front of one painting to really to let your emotion go. You will see something that you can really relate to and it not, has nothing to do with your story, with your personal story, but it's deeper than that and, and, and that's what art is all about. Being able to visit the Louvre by yourself, it's, uh, it's one of a kind experience. To be able to enjoy any of these paintings by yourself at your own pace, at your own rhythm. There is nothing in between you and the art and it's just, it becomes personal. Paris is the city of lights. Uh, the city has been through a lot of trauma, but you know, it's been like that for years. And actually what you see in this museum is most of this trauma. It's part of what, what makes a city, what makes a culture. You cannot have a culture without, without drama. There are so many amazing paintings all around you that you wonder why this one. She really became famous after she was stolen from this museum. Uh, so her, her stardom is not just because of the quality of the, of the paintings, but also the history behind it and the, the myth that, that surrounds it. It's different. It has a very strong power and feeling to it. To take a step, step back from your life and look at what other people did, it's a moment for reflection.